Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jess here. Today I would like to talk to you again about SP manifesting. I've been doing more videos on this topic lately and the reason I'm doing this is because some of my clients have been talking more about it and I've been seeing more of it in the YouTube world and while I've been in the car driving these ideas keep popping through my mind. I've been on an SP journey myself many times and I do have my own SP. I don't publicly talk about this very much, um, but I do, I have an SP. So today I wanted to talk to you about SP manifesting and being open to new possibilities. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for joining. Please make sure you follow along and if you're not familiar with what SP manifesting is, it is a specific person. It's basically you imagining that you are in a loving relationship but it's with him or her. Somebody who you want it to be with. So my question for you is why do you want it to be that person? Why do you think why do you feel that it's that person? I want you to journal about it. I want you to share in the comments about it. I just really would be curious. And also, are you open to it being something different with someone else? Maybe you have written out a list of what your ideal partner looks like and you have your negotiables, your non-negotiables, how you want to experience your relationship with that person. So when you truly embody the feeling of already being in a loving relationship and all of those things are checking off and you truly surrender and rest in the Sabbath and the knowing that it's done, you want it to be that person. What if something else comes in? What if it's not them? What if you are truly embodying the state and you have worked on your self-concept, the way you see yourself, the beliefs you have about yourself, the thoughts, the feelings, what you see in the mirror and what appears back to you. When you're truly feeling good about yourself, you love yourself and you have nailed it. You've nailed the end and then it's not that person showing up. That's not materializing in your world. No matter how much you've used the tools, how much you've tried everything, something different comes in. Are you going to reject that because you're still trying to have this relationship with that specific person? What if you opened yourself up to the possibility of enjoying that while still embodying the feeling of having something with that other person? Or maybe you realize that what came in is perfect for you. And I don't like to say came in or attracted, but things have to materialize in the 3D world. That's how it is. So remember that your beliefs, your thoughts shape your reality. And if you're truly imagining a loving relationship, but you're focusing on him or her and something else comes in, maybe that is the most ideal person for you. And how long are you going to keep trying to make it be that one person? And why do you want it to be that person? Why? Just be open and remember that as you grow and as you evolve, that new connections may come in that resonate maybe even more. And maybe there's some part of you that holds on to the possibility with that person. And maybe it's time to move forward. So stay flexible. Understand that desires may evolve over time. And get really honest with yourself about why you think it has to be that person. And if you are open to other possibilities. So thank you for checking out this video. And... Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and bell button for the notifications for future content. Until next time, see you guys.